Uh, so Sean Fain is speaking right now, and he was going on about some violence that was on the picket lines. There's been a lot of finger pointing up into this point, but he just mentioned just moments ago that they will be expanding their strike by 7,000 members, predominantly at two plants, one Ford plant and one GM plant, the Ford one in Chicago and the GM plant in Lansing, Michigan. He says that they are still at the table talking with all of these three companies, mentioning that they are trying to bargain a record deal that has not come to fruition just yet. Just for some clarity, did you say violence on the picket line or did I mishear you? No, we have heard about violence on the picket line. Earlier this week, uh, Sean Fain was talking about how there was uh, some incendiary remarks that were directed at those on the picket line, and he was pointing the fingers at some of the big three companies, saying that they are the reason why this is occurring. And then on the other side, Stellantis has come back and said that there has been slashing tires and that some of those picketers have been uh, a little unruly in the way that they are trying to get their message across. Mm. Wow. Wow, that, that is really interesting. Um, so you said, um, just to, to kind of do another rundown, adding 7,000 members to this strike. Uh, do we know exactly where, state-wise? Uh, yes, the Ford plant is going to be in Chicago, okay. and the GM plant that they are going to be expanding the strike is going to be in Lansing, Michigan. About 7,000 uh, new members going to be joining the strike. And Dan, are they any closer to reaching a deal here? We know we had some headway, it seemed, in the Hollywood strike. But they seem to be much more uh, further apart in the auto worker strike. Yeah, I mean, after uh, a week after this strike began, we were expecting some sort of deal, but now we're more than 10 days removed from that, and there is still not much negotiating happening. I mean, of course, they are meeting, but it does not look like they are meeting exactly where both sides feel is adequate. Uh, the UAW workers feel because of these record profits that have come since the pandemic, they deserve a piece of that pie, and they say they're not getting exactly what they deserve. Their ask was around 36% raises for their employees and since they've not come to a deal yet it, one would assume that they have not reached that goal number that they've been targeting since the start of this yeah with any negotiation you start on the opposite end and extremes a lot of times and you hope to meet somewhere in the middle uh, but that is yet to be seen national correspondent dan grossman reporting for us thank you we're gonna take a quick break we'll be right back